Hello and welcome back to the Killer Keyboard channel and today I have a tactile switch from BBN. These are prototypes which were sent out for review purposes so what you're seeing may or may not be the final product. The stem isn't the right color here and I'll show you what they're supposed to look like on screen. If you haven't heard of BBN before, he is a switch designer based in Australia. His first switch was the BBN Linear so if you're more interested in linears I'll link the video at the end of this video. Cracking the switch open, we have a custom nylon blend top housing, a polycarbonate bottom housing, and a long pole stem made out of POM measuring at 13.7 millimeters. The spring is a dual stage 63.5 gram spring, and these switches are manufactured by Texi. Putting it through the stem wobble test, we can see a noticeable amount going left and right and back and forth. Pretty standard amount of wobble, nothing crazy here. I personally don't think there's a need to film them. There's one thing I find extremely annoying with Texi's early switches and it's how loose their bottom housing fits onto the plate. I'm only showing the KBD67 light here, but on most boards I've tried, the Neapolitan Ice Cream and the Purple Pandas come off the plate really easy when you pull off the keycap. So easy that you can almost do it with your finger. So why does this bother me? Well, I hate separating the switches from the keycaps and it feels cheap if something is not securely fitted onto the hot swap boards. I'm very surprised to hear no spring or leaf ping because I expected all tactiles to have some sort of unwanted noise. The only other switch I can think of that sounded great straight from the factory was the Gazoo Boba U4Ts. So upon inspecting the bottom housing, we can see the leaf does have some lube. Does this contradict the statement of it being unlubed? I personally don't think this is an issue as long as it is consistent with every switch. The amount of lube seems to be pretty consistent with the batch that was sent to me. The worst switch I've experienced with the leaf ping is the Duroc Sunflower T1s. Let's take a quick listen and warning for the headphone users, the volume might be loud. The loop and unloop sound comparison basically sounds the same. I looped the switch with 205G0 and found a small increase in smoothness and this may be because it is a great switch stock. The BBN tactiles have a sharp tactile event that follows the shape of a P. Well what does that mean? It means you will not experience any pre-travel on the switch and immediately feel a bump as soon as you put pressure on the stem. The bump lasts about half the travel distance which is followed by a linear post-travel feel. When you're typing fast however, you just immediately feel the bump that falls straight into bottom out. I've gotten used to typing on linears for many months now and switching over to the BBN tactiles for a few days, I can say that I didn't feel fatigued. The strength is just right thanks to the 63.5 gram spring. I did experiment with the 67 gram spring however, it made it feel less tactile. So good job on choosing the dual stage springs. The travel distance is on the shorter side, which I do enjoy. The upstroke is very snappy because of the dual stage spring. All these feature make the switch very responsive and is perfect for gaming. Moving on to the sound, we can expect a high pitch bottom out from the PC bottom housing and a low pitch upstroke from the nylon top housing. The sound profile of this switch is on the higher end resulting in a thack. Not quite a clack, but more of a thack. On the KBD67 light, it sounds more on the thocky side, so depending on your build, you may achieve some thock. The BBN tactiles are priced at 950 Australian dollars. 
similar to the Bibian Limius. Now discussing some points I like about the switch. First I'm very glad to see Texi fixing how loose the housings were on the plate. So it's great to see how manufacturers are learning from the mistakes and fixing the errors. One reason I stopped buying tactiles was every switch had some level of spring or leaf ping. The spring ping you can fix with some lube, but the leaf is just game over. The BBN tactiles did not have any of this and is excellent straight from the factory. They are already quite smooth due to the lube sitting on the leaves. You can honestly go without lubing these switches because I experienced minimal gains in the smoothness as it was already quite smooth. And did the lube change the sound? Well, not really, I don't think so. To wrap things up, I highly recommend you guys try out this tactile. If you want a responsive, snappy and thacky switch, great out of the box, give the BBN tactiles a go. If tactiles keep coming out like this on the market, I think I might have to switch back to tactiles. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys on the next one.